This is tips and tricks that CS2 pros use. So if you're a pro, let's see how many of these you use. Before peeking mid door, we see that Flit has this insane nasty pre-fire lineup. Sphinx is going to hold mid to B with this very insane positioning towards the top of the boxes near window where he has a small little gap here which is going to make it very hard for the T's to spot and hit him. If you are going to play this position, make sure you have a teammate holding your tunnels. From Team Liquid's POV, it's very hard to spot Sphinx and since he is not exposed a lot, it's going to be very hard to hit him. This next tip only works in the pro scene. We see Zaiwu is going to play anti-flash because often in the pro scene, the T's will come out delayed long with a flash. This is a tip for offers towards the A site. So Oscar plays behind this wall scoping in long and the T's throw the A cross smoke and it takes a couple seconds for it to fully bloom to block him off which sets him up for this frag. Jimmy from B is jiggle peeking door, makes contact and he has a flash, he throws a flash at the window and then he peeks, the flash is going to force the T's to look away. No way scaling up mid to B has his crosshair placement misplaced because of the flash. This is a really fast B door smoke from Sin from outside upper dark, stand at this wall, aim here then jump throw, the smoke is going to land inside the doorway. Floppy smokes mid to B from outside upper dark, stand at the gap in between the fence, aim here at this mark on the wall, afterwards jump throw. Fast A cross smoke, stand at this corner of the shadow, aim at this circle, then afterwards jump throw, red candidates are going to rush A using this smoke. Twist at the beginning of the round is going to throw a long A lurk smoke and you can see that this smoke is going to land in front of the door, however it does leave a gap here towards this left side. The easiest frag that you'll get on dust 2 CT side, boost yourself short, throw a flash over the wall like this, how rain does, and get yourself a frag. Quick word from today's sponsor, Skin Place. The easiest and fastest way to sell your CS2, Dota 2, and Rust skins. First, log into Steam, select your skins you want to sell, pick the many different payout options available, Make sure to use promo code NART for an extra 3% bonus when selling your skins. Then click receive money and your money will arrive instantly. Also, you can win free skins and PCs through Skin Place's first anniversary event from September 16th to October 20. To participate, go to Daily Claim and receive points every day to exchange for prizes. Don't forget to use my code NART for an extra bonus and use the link down below in the description. Mozzie goes for the opening peak towards B and he's going to use the assist of this flash from Hunter which you see Ultimate is able to get towards Apps to peak first. However, the flash is going to set him off the angle which Mozzie is going to be posted. Team Flicker make their way onto A site with right side A smokes on the T pistol. They plant right here and then in the post plant they have Yakinder with a Molotov to throw it off this wall of stairs to bounce. However, he hits his teammate but you can see it would bounce off this wall landing at this post plant here. Mary is able to support mid from window when it is smoked off. So if you've got incendiary for the top mid boxes and then Mary shows a new nade lineup which this nade lineup is going to break open the top mid smoke helping his CT teammates to see. Juan Flacho is going to push towards the left side of ramp and Red Star from top of stairs has his flashlight for Juan Flacho to push even farther to push down towards ramp blinding both the T's. New right side A smokes from Heroic and these smokes are huge because the jungle smoke lands on top of that wall extending all the way down. Initially it leaves a gap but by the time Heroic come out it covers up. Kiksan throws both smokes and he gets a smoke from his teammate. He's on the platform behind the middle of this wood pillar for the stair smoke aim there. Left click throw for the jungle smoke aim right there then jump throw. These smokes are better than the standard smokes because they are huge so the CTs cannot boost to see over. Depending on how the CT smoke off apartments, it can leave a gap which Nico sees here and he's calling for the boost from mobs which Nico can see over the smoke to see if any CTs push up. Mongols use this boost inside boiler where the bottom player is playing anti-flash, top player is peeking towards the window as well as holding the opposite side of the stairs, where Keita gets thrown off guard by this weird looking boost. Masinho shows a set lineup in order to silent drop from the apartment balcony. Major makes a 200 IQ play by throwing a smoke on the ground near car to make it sound like multiple players are there. That might in return cause some rotates. Emma from top half wall is going to throw a nade set where he molotovs off coffin, waits a couple seconds and then he's going to smoke off the back coffins. Topo with a mid banana smoke stand next to the barrel, he's going to aim here, afterwards jump throw, then he's going to jump on top of this platform where he throws the window flash. The flash blinds any CT's peeking banana and the smoke is going to be the same smoke that you would throw from T spawn. When electronic comes out mid window, he is going to be looking down to go towards the cubby and the reason why he's doing this is he's able to avoid the T's flash. 
Another thing Electronic does as he comes out mid is as he's looking down, he could throw a flash off the ground that's going to blind any T's towards Elbow coming out. Techno 4K is going to show us a set lineup for this wall bang where he is going to tag up the CT that is hiding inside this cubby. This wall bang will also connect to any CTs near the pillar. So the T here is going to use the same wall bang and they paired up with a K Molotov to push out any CTs inside the doorway, which then the wall bang comes into play here. Snacks has a dirty angle in position for Cave where he has a gap where he could spot towards Cheetah and he's going to spot a CT here in the Alexi B and is going to wall bang tagging him up. This gap is so small the CTs won't know that you are peeking from it. Expect this to be a patch soon. If you're towards lane and you want to flash your teammates out mid elbow, throw a flash behind this left wall like Alexi B does here. Since it lands behind the wall, your mid teammates won't get blind and Emma is going to come out by smoking out the CT's Molotov with that flash and he is going to decimate Zantaras. Insane dual play from Na'Vi, Bit pushes Heaven down lane and while he's doing this, Alexi B is going to throw a flash and nade to break the smoke and the flash lands behind the wall so it won't blind Bit and it's going to set him up for this nice 3k. Major coming out of spawn has his deep elbow Molotov lineup, so when the window is instantly smoked off, he has a set lineup coming out of window. This is a genius fake from Major, who's going to throw some B utility, and then he is going to use a decoy as a smoke for B long. So he smokes short, he Molotovs a cubby, and he's going to throw this decoy to fake the B long smoke while his teammates go A. When the CTs throw a A main smoke to retake A, and you have two players near A main, you could do this boost here, which you're going to be able to see over the smoke. If you want to peek mid with an AWP, use this flash from ultimate, which he throws it off the wall, and then he's going to jump and peek window. The flash is going going to be perfectly timed for when the CTs peak mid. Ultimate is going to preemptively throw a smoke towards his left past the door here at the beginning of the round. This is going to set him up to get these two frags and the purpose of that smoke is going to put out the Molotov that complexity throws. Twist shows a new way to throw mid control nades. First he's going to smoke off window, afterwards he is going to follow up with a mid door Molotov. Unfortunately the Molotov will not extend all the way out as you can see here. Nice play from Kallax where he is going to throw some defensive mid nades, then he's going to throw a self pop flash over the wall here, peaks bridge, and he's going to frag onto a blind 910. You can see the flash is perfectly timed as the Molotov ends when the T wants to push. If you want to push B main, make sure you are using these flashes from Kallax, they will cover the right cubby as well as any T's holding from all the way back here. M80 have an insane tactic where they Molotov in front of their cave smoke to allow for the edge which catches the CT off guard. Synth throws the deep cave smoke at the start of the round, Swisher sets up to throw the top cave Molotov while Sin is going to walk through his own smoke and he's going to peek the CT by edging the Molotov which the CTs will not expect. This has been going viral all over the internet so Techno 4K throws the B main lurk smoke however it gets body blocked by Major. Major sets himself up at the beginning of the round where he stands in position where the B main lurk smoke would be thrown and bounced off of and he body blocks the smoke leaving a gap inside the smoke. Techno 4K comes around the corner expecting the smoke to be up but he sees that there's a huge gap. He's probably like oh my gosh how did I miss the smoke. Another way you could go ahead and body block is if you look through the window you could see if the smoke is coming. This is such a 200 IQ move. Mozzie holding ramp with an op holds this off angle all the way towards the right of the doorway because when the T's jiggle peak he's going to have a better view of them. Mozzie playing Mustang is going to back up where he has his gap angle to spot anyone out towards door. Emma shows useful utility to peak door where he Molotovs and then throws a flash off this vent wall then peaks and you can see the flash blinds both the T's. Heroic ramp setup where Tessus smokes off trophy and then he's going to nade and he's going to rush into the smoke where his teammate Nurse is going to spray the smoke to make it look like nobody is there and Tess is going to keep pushing and he's going to backstab 1T. Vinny shows how to smoke heaven from T roof, go ahead and position with this part of the silo, stand up, you're going to aim here, afterwards jump throw, make sure the windows are not broken because it needs to break through in order to land correctly. Imperial have a tactic on nuke where they throw two upper sight smokes that cut the site in half in order to allow them to safely drop vent. Vinny throws both smokes using the same lineup, stand in front of the wall, aim there, jump throw, and then using the same lineup, jump throw. Just make sure the windows are not broken. Chopper, the upper player, is unable to spot door because of the smokes. 
Complexity threw outside Smoke Wall and a leash pings his teammate to sit inside the smoke and he gets on top to look over from this boost. He does not see anybody and makes his way into main into the upper site. Elish pushes outside at the beginning of the round and he is going to hold this off angle back main and the reason why this angle is good is because he's able to spot the T's jump up before they can even see him. Eternal fire throw outside smokes and Insani from next to blue has this easy set lineup to break open the smoke to see if the T's cross the red. Diha throws the top stair smoke but he's not going to use the smoke defensively instead he is going to go offensively using the smoke by jumping on top of the railing looking over the smoke and he is going to edge around the smoke and he hits an insane 3k with a 5-7. Keiserato with mid control nades at the start of the round by throwing a smoke and then a molotov, the T's edge the smoke so be careful for them doing so and make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more pro CS2 tips and tricks and I'll see you in the next one.